Shocking documents from Iraq's Federal Board of Supreme Audit have uncovered a massive corruption scheme. Over 151,000 citizens were involved in the illicit buying of U.S. currency. They obtained dollars at the official state rate for travel purposes, but never left the country. The black market refers to them as ghost travelers. We are thinking the Iraqis sold the dollars for more money than they invested. As a result of the corruption Iraq's central bank employees, private banks, currency exchange companies, and tourism firms were all involved. This is a $600 million corruption scam involving the U.S. dollar. When in Washington, D.C., he, Al Sadani, met with the chair of the governing board of the J.P. Morgan Development Finance Institution, DFI, Daniel Zelico. Prime Minister Al Sadani received Mr. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, and his accompanying delegation on Wednesday during his visit. In Davos, Iraqi Prime Minister Al Sadani with Mr. Khalid Habala, the regional CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase for the Middle East and North Africa. Al Sadani met with the Iraqi community in Washington, D.C., and other American states on the sidelines of his official visit to the United States. Al Sadani conveyed gratitude to the Iraqi communities in the U.S. and throughout the world, emphasizing that Iraq is for all Iraqis and that the country needs the knowledge, experiences, opportunities, and initiatives of Iraqis in the U.S. The Prime Minister indicated the Iraqi government is working on establishing a department for expatriate affairs to be able to communicate effectively with the Iraqi community around the world. On April 15, President Joe Biden will hold Prime Minister Al Sadani of Iraq at the White House. This meeting is a crucial opportunity for the United States and Iraq to discuss common priorities and strengthen their bilateral partnership.